Last week wasn't a good week. Not prioritising the right things had caught up with me and I was feeling pretty rubbish. It's amazing how quickly our daily choices and little habits can create a good day, a good week and even a good life. But if you neglect them, it can have the opposite effect pretty quickly too. So this week I decided to have a good week. To eat the things that make me feel good all the time, not just in the moment. To move my body a little bit more and to spend more time doing the things that bring me happiness and peace. So this is basically a video diary of how I turn my week around. If I seem a little bit down at the start, it's because honestly I was. But you'll also see that completely change as I start putting myself first this week. So let's do this together. Good morning. Let me just prop you up so that we can have a chat. I thought I would basically just keep a video diary of everything I'm doing this week to feel more like myself. I think sometimes even when we know exactly what it is that's making us feel rubbish and even when we know exactly how to change it. It can be really hard to stay accountable, which is a really strange thing because the only person that hurts obviously is yourself. I feel like especially if you live on your own or if you spend a lot of time alone, like I do just because Kenny's always at work, it can be really hard to talk yourself out of just sitting on the sofa all day and watching TV or like talk yourself into going to the gym or doing something that's good for you when no one is watching. But then I had a thought that I don't have to do this on my own. I can do this with you guys and that way you can do this with me too. If you're feeling like a similar kind of way and you just want to get things back on the right track. Anyway, I'm going to make breakfast now. I have found that what I'm eating is a huge part of like how I'm treating myself and then how I feel like as a result of that. So I guess this week will also kind of be like a food diary slash like a what I eat in a week kind of a thing amongst other things that I'm doing. But food is a really important thing for me. Like if I'm eating good, I feel good. And it's kind of like when I'm not feeling good, my eating also goes downhill. It seems to all be very linked. First things first, I'm gonna take my DS01 Daily Symbiotic by Seed, who have very kindly sponsored this part of the video. You guys will know that I've worked with Seed before. It's something that I have taken for quite a long time now. DS01 is a daily symbiotic developed for systemic benefits beyond just your digestive health. If you don't know what a symbiotic is, it is basically a prebiotic and a probiotic combined into one. It's got 24 different strains of probiotic, so it's not only good for your digestive health, but also your cardiovascular health, your dermatology, logical health so your skin it's good for your gut immune function and just so so much more so seed actually uses a two-in-one via cap delivery technology which essentially means a capsule inside a capsule so the outer prebiotic capsule helps to protect the inner probiotic capsule from your stomach acid which means that the live probiotics will actually reach the end of your intestine which massively helps to improve its effectiveness and if all of that is not good enough you can actually get it delivered sustainably to your door on a monthly basis the shipping box is actually constructed from algae that would otherwise harm the fragile marine ecosystem. Your monthly refills come in their own home compostable bio-based pouch and with your first delivery you get one of these glass jars that you can simply just refill on a monthly basis. So I will leave a link on screen here and also down in the description box for 15% off your first month supply using the code ADKINS15. So I'm going to go take this now and then we can make some breakfast. <laughs> I started reading it last night because one of my things I definitely want to do this week is read more. Reading just gets me off my phone, gets me out of my own head, stops me thinking about work, stops me thinking about stressful things like all the tax returns and stuff I need to somehow do this week but let's not get into that and reading for me is just like so good for me and it turns out this is actually a pretty great book to read if you're not having 
a great week. I'm probably not telling you anything new because I feel like everyone has read this book already. But if you're not having a great week or a great month and you haven't read this one, then read this one. As I told you guys a million times, in an attempt to be a bit more sustainable, I always get my um, books from charity shops. And the added benefit is they are so, so much cheaper at charity shops, like this was a pound. So in pursuit of having a better week this week, I am going to treat myself to 20 minutes, half an hour of reading before I have to open my to-do list for today and start tackling that. So that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, so next thing is I need to run into town because for two reasons. Number one, I've got some returns that I need to do, which ticks some stuff off my to-do list, which will definitely make me feel better because my to-do list is unfathomably long. Also, it means I can take Rue with me so she gets a bit of a stroll, a bit of time outside the house. And it also ticks the box of leaving your house and like getting some fresh air because apparently I hear that's good for you, you know, to leave the house sometimes and have some social interaction. So that's what we're gonna go out and do now. Actually, I don't know why I put this coat on, I always do this, but I have to pick Rue up when we go into shops and I feel like a white slash cream coat. This coat, everybody, is from Zara. I think it might be their premium range, I'm not sure. This is what it looks like on the inside. I got it in store, so I don't have a link to it online. And I got it in a size small, and I absolutely love this coat. I've not taken it off. So let's head into town. like to name my favorite place to shop it is 100% cos I actually just bought another one of these jumpers that I wear all of the time it's so warm so I bought it in gray because I honestly don't take it off and then I always steal Kenny's gray scarf and I just thought this one was the dream I'm happy with them all in the name of retail therapy so it's fine it's lunchtime um Kenny very kindly last night at literally like half past ten made me some tomato and red pepper soup for lunch today literally from scratch because he knew I was sad and he knows that that is my favorite lunch ever. One thing that I do that might be quite weird um, or Kenny thinks it's quite weird is I, when I'm hungry, I add like some grains to my tomato soup just so it's a bit more filling. And I actually really like having like the different textures in soup. So I've just cooked a massive batch of quinoa and I'm gonna put about that much in and then fill the rest up with soup. And that is my dream, dream lunch. Nutritional yeast as always. Yum, yum, yum. Lunch is served. keep your house tidy like a proper adult please let me know because I just feel like I'm like constantly tidying my house I'm really bad at putting things back where I got them from hey Siri play Christmas songs Really girl, 
you want to open your advent calendar? Come see, Rue. Look, what's this? What's this? Come on then. Look how good these are. They're like every day they're new things. <laughs> there you go. Yum, what's that? There you go. That's yours, boo. You can take it off me. Oh, good girl. So yummy. You're going to run away with that now? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have my cup of tea and chocolate, so this is perfect. We have got, dun, 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 I think it's plain today. Yeah, a little plain oat one. Good evening, everyone. Um, I am in my pyjamas before dinner. I actually once got a comment, which I remembered earlier, that was like judgy about the fact that I was wearing pajamas to eat my dinner. And do you know what? I have not worn my pajamas on YouTube to eat my dinner ever since. Tonight I thought, you know what? Christmas pajamas make me happy. Hi, Rui. Um, and they're comfortable. And I'm not wearing jeans to eat my dinner. So, pajamas it is. Anyway, Kenneth is home now. Hello. Say hello. Um, and no, absolutely not. I will tell everyone what you're doing. He's showing me his full bare bum to try and make me laugh. No comment. Anyway, we are going to make dinner now. What are we having tonight, Kenneth? Boat soup. Come and give me a cuddle right now. Yeah, I've got a tash show, isn't it? Yeah, I've got to get rid of that. Come on, come and show everyone. Look at what I'm having to deal with on Kenny's face. There's actually <laughs> no words for that. I feel like it even looks like extra stunning in the camera. Um, but it, really it doesn't look good, trust me. Guys, please tell Kenny it doesn't look good and it has to go. Stop pulling away from me. It is dinner time. Um, we're having boat soup, which you guys will be familiar with if you've seen any other videos. Would you like to explain what boat soup is since it's your recipe? You do that. What exactly do you bring to this relationship? <laughs> he is joking. I bring everything to this relationship and more. I'm not sure why I'm still talking. Basically, we're having boat soup for dinner. I will show you that. What? Milk and meat. Yeah, you're not having it now. You're not having that now. Look at what Kenny thinks. He thinks he's going to have this before we've had dinner. Now, I don't want to bring the mum energy here, but like, you cannot have that much chocolate. Like, that's like a melty hot chocolate thing. You can't have that before your dinner, can you guys? Or... I, might, I wouldn't be a cool. Who makes the rules? I'm 29. <laughs> it's really simple to make, so... <sighs> so what? <laughs> I don't know, my brain's not working, I'm tired. Um, so I'll talk you through it. Maybe when we've made it, maybe while we're doing it, but at some point I will tell you what goes in, what goes in. Uh... No, no, look at her right now. Like your family and your family and my family this is dinner now that it's done so basically i didn't show you how to make it because it is really simple if you know how to make a vegan stock like just make whichever one you like but we use um soy sauce vegetable stock white pepper a few other things and then you essentially just add everything in so in ours we've got um rice noodles today we've got these ikea vegan meatballs they really do make it to be honest they're probably not that healthy but they're so good um and then we've got carrot we've got broccoli we've got green beans and then we add like onions and garlic to the top and kenny adds chili and we've got a pot of green tea and that is our dinner good morning everyone kenny and i are treating ourselves to going out for breakfast this morning and we're going to combine it all into taking brew for her walk and um, we're going to one of my favorite brunch places in manchester which is called another heart to feed they've got one in town um oh god i can't see a thing it's so sunny this morning but i think the one in didsbury which is where we're going is better which could just be in my head but i'm pretty sure it's better and kenny's here good morning good morning i think the one in town's better <laughs> anyone else's boyfriend like this anything you say they have to just disagree with it like, you've purposefully piped up full of energy to tell me that you disagree with that. Why do you think the one in town's better? A better room. A better room? It's the same menu, but different chefs, you know? And different chefs have different abilities. As you know, like, I'm a really good cook and you're a really bad one. That's a joke, guys. You know that he's the better cook. Um, anyway, so that's what we're doing this morning. I'm looking forward to it. It's nice to get 
up and out of the house. Um, it's a really sunny day as well. And we're gonna have a happy good day, aren't we, my love? I can't see the screen. I don't know why, but when you're wearing sunglasses, the screen is completely black. So um, this guy could have been filming anything, really. Um, anyway, I will show you what we get when we get to breakfast. And if you're from the Manchester area, I highly recommend you copy my order because it is 10 out of 10. <laughs> This is the one that I ordered, the smashed ave, but I just asked for like a vegan version of it, which to be honest is different every time. Sometimes they add like tofu, sometimes they don't. And then a must is to add the homemade beans onto the side. That's my order every single time. And then today, I think I'm gonna get a turmeric latte with almond milk. This is tofu scrambles, so they did put it on today. Beetroot hummus, my beans, so yum. And then Kenny got the same, but like the regular version. Yum. frozen over it's so cold today look the ice is quite deep because look at that um stick oh it's not that deep then. don't walk on that route you'll definitely fall in don't even think about it miss we're back from the walk and today is unfortunately like a self-care by doing all the jobs you've been putting off kind of day when i'm not in a good mindset I just put my to-do list off and off and off and then you feel worse, worse, worse and worse. So I have to do a load of expense stuff for my accountant, which is going to take hours. I mean, it's probably gonna take days to be honest. So I need to at least make a start on that. I need to like package up and go out and do some returns, which for some reason is just like my most hated job ever. Um, I've got housework to do, like the house is a mess. So I need to, just sort out like you know in the laundry it's like you've got loads of stuff to put away loads more stuff to wash and it's all just piling up it's one of those situations but first things first i've got to do emails and just computer admin and tax stuff so i'm going to sit here i'm prepared with my cup of tea and a full tummy from breakfast and unfortunately it's time to just do some very tedious adulting for a bit so that's the plan for the next few hours This is my tomato soup all done. I'm not gonna have any toast because it's close to dinner time. It's too close to dinner time, isn't it, Rue? And otherwise we might not be hungry, hmm? Um, so yeah, that's that. It's the exact same as yesterday. It's got the quinoa in and nutritional yeast on top. Anything to add? Yeah, does it look yummy? Have you ever seen something cuter than this? I don't think so. As you can probably tell, it is now dark. I all I have to say is do not let your expenses and all your tax stuff pile up into one enormous mountain that you then have to deal with. Be more organised than I have been or was for the last tax year. Because um, I, I have been sat doing my taxes for three hours without even so much as getting a drink or going for a week. That's what I've been doing. Anyway, the fun just never ends because I'm about to make myself some soup as a snack because it's like dinner in a couple of hours anyway. It's five o'clock-ish now. Let's call it a starter, you know. That makes me feel better about having lunch at 5 p.m. Um, we'll call it a starter. And then I've got to do some housework because as I mentioned, the laundry is not going to do itself. If I could show you the state of this kitchen. Oh, it's all just a mess. It's all just a mess. Some days I just said to Kenny, like some days, you know, being an adult is really not what it's cracked up to be. What will be really nice is I'll wake up tomorrow to a much shorter to-do list and a clean home, which is guaranteed to make me feel like I'm on top of the day and just good about myself tomorrow. So it'll be worth it then. As you can see, I was not exaggerating about the mess in here that we need to fix.
gosh, I am shattered and my hair, if you can't already tell from basically the whole of today, um, really needs a good wash. So I am gonna go and treat myself to a nice bath, gonna wash my hair, chill out for a bit and Chef Kenny is gonna take over and tell us what we're gonna have for dinner, yeah! Somehow Kenny thinks he's tired because he went for one dog walk today. That was a tiring day. This is the like level of dramatics I'm living with. I promise you, he's been saying, Hannah, I haven't stopped today. He's been for, he's been out for breakfast and he's gone on one dog walk and apparently he hasn't stopped today. Despite the fact that I tell him that I take Rear out every single day, apparently that's exhausting for the man. I guess What's he, that? These put themselves back, I guess. No, you put them back. You put them back because I, stop being so dramatic. I've had enough of you now. British wrong. Guys, well that's very, look at this is not organic. It is. No, that's not organic. Oh, I must have grabbed the other one. Our whole house is vegan, except we buy stuff for the dog. <laughs> like this, and then Kenny jokes every night that this is what we're gonna have. That is the least plant-based thing you're ever gonna see on this channel. Also, just before anyone um, says anything, I obviously mix the real meat in with real fruits and veggies, and then she also gets some kibble as well to make sure she gets all of her nutrients because I know someone will probably tell me off thinking that I only feed her meat, but I obviously do not do that. Um, what's for Hannah's dinner? Stir-fry. Absolutely not, next. Stir-fry is the worst. Does anyone else feel this way, but stir-fry is not for me. What else is this? It's a cleaning cloth. Yeah, yeah, I'm shocked that you don't know what that is because have you ever cleaned anything? Um, excuse the face mask and the fact that my <coughs> mouth can actually barely move, but Kenny has now informed me that we are having a Thai curry for dinner. Thought I'd just be realistic this week with what we eat in a week rather than like trying to come up with new recipes or try different things. Um, we can do that another time. This is like a realistic week. Um, so yeah, Thai curry. Dinner's now all done. Um, we've got our Thai curry, we've got our side of rice, and then in here there's courgette, there's tofu, there is green beans. What else? I guess there's carrot, pepper. We always get weird and wonderful like carrots and veg and stuff from the organic store. And then Kenny's got an omelette and that is dinner tonight. Today is one of the days when I really wish we had a heated steering wheel in this car. My steering wheel must be about minus 10, it's freezing. Kenny tells me that apparently in Manchester at some point today is going to be minus four. Anyway, good morning. I got up and I went to the gym. It was a 30 minutes incline walk kind of morning this morning, guys. So I just stuck on um, some YouTube videos and just got through my half an hour and obviously I feel better for it. Guys, what an absolutely beautiful day. Look how beautiful it is up here. Look, all the leaves frozen into the ice or on top of the frozen ice. How can you look at something like this and not just feel so grateful? to have woken up this morning and to be able to come out and just see this. And I feel like days like today and getting outside just really helps me to put into perspective anything small that I'm stressing about, hey? But yeah, honestly, if you're having a day where you're not feeling great, which I was having a lot of those days last week, quite honestly, I feel like just take some time to go outside and see this world that we have with infinite possibilities and infinite chances for tomorrow to be a better day. That's my little message for the morning, everyone. I feel like a new woman after that walk. It was such a nice fresh walk and also who needs Botox when your face is physically frozen into place because it's so cold. So now I'm just at stop number one at the post office to do my first return and then we need to go to the house. Well, welcome to our stunning new home. I think it has definitely got worse since you last saw it. This is the kitchen that I'm currently standing in. 
Really, really stunning. Let me just show you around. Um, hi, Rue hates me because I just put that spray in her ears, which also went all over me, which is brilliant. And to be honest, I'm not gonna show you the rest of the house because it is just a continuation of this because the first big step is to remove this whole wall and that's like a structural wall. So that's quite a big job. Getting a new skylight put up there, a nice big flat one. Um, and that's the plan for the house. But now you guys can see why well, there's not been any home content. I've actually made a home account. I think it's Hannah Adkins Home. I'll put the at here. Um, there's only a few posts on it at the moment because as you can see, there's not too many updates. That's where I will like keep you posted the most. Obviously there'll be more YouTube videos when there's more to see. But for now, all the little updates will be over on Hannah Adkins home. If you want to follow that, then you'll know what is going on. Because I did all these talking stories the other day showing you the state of the house. We did keep our cupboard though, this one. We did get a brochure through. We're getting our kitchen designs done really, really soon. So that'll be exciting and I'll update you guys with that and I'll obviously put that on the Instagram um, and I'll probably talk about it in a video at some point. Oh, we are finally home. It's three o'clock. Heating on, tomato soup about to be warmed up and then I think I'm going to put the holiday on. If you have not seen the best news in the whole world, which I'm sure you probably have seen by now, the holiday is getting a sequel. There's a second movie coming out, I, probably for next Christmas. I'm guessing it's gonna be next Christmas. All the original cast and I am yet to hear better news than that. So I think I'm gonna put holi the holiday, just the original holiday on, although, the Harry and Meghan documentary came out this morning, so I feel like that's very tempting as well. Christmassy versus the Harry and Meghan drama. I'm gonna make my soup and then decide. Um, and then I'm gonna try and force Kenny into watching Elf this evening. He's never seen Elf, could you believe that? So let's have some lunch, I'm starving. The holiday one, because I thought I can go on my laptop at the same time, couldn't I, Rue? And get some of the other things on my to-do list done once I've had my tomato soup which is ready and waiting same as the last two days and I could eat this probably every single day for the rest of my life for lunch because it's my favorite um and now we're just going to chill we're under our cozy blanket this blanket is from cherries um because I always get questions about it I have a code with cherries which I think is let me find out what the code is and I'll pop it on screen here Rue absolutely loves these blankets as well and we've got a white one that is on our bed haven't we and that is our cosy setup for the afternoon. I've now moved on to Harry and Meghan, episode one. But look at the sunset behind the tree. I need to turn the tree on now. It's got dark. Um, and look at it over there. One of the things that I will miss from living in an apartment is that sunrise. And it lights up the whole room orange um, in the summer. Hey little one, we're still just here. It's actually only been an hour that we've been sat here. It just gets dark at 4 p.m. in the UK now, so. Oh my goodness. You try keep it off. Why? To transport it? Well, I imagine there's an apple box. Underneath. Okay, brother. Oh, look how pretty. But how do I unbox it? Help me. Oh. Okay, 
So I made us a creamy mushroom pasta with some of these bits of vegan, Kenny says it's vegan turkey, because on Sunday we made our own roast and we used like this fake turkey thing. So we had some left over, so I popped that in. Then we've got all our veg and it's just made with like almond milk. I would have filmed it, but I was so hungry. I just couldn't have a minute of delay, so. That's it, now it's all done. It's really simple though. I actually don't have any words. Kenny's just eaten our entire dinner, gone downstairs, bought a pasta from this place called Nonna's Pasta that's just at the bottom of our building. Anything to say? Nonna had it. Uh, his moustache is gone, so that's an update, a very thankful update from me. And then if that was not enough, there's also oven chips in the oven somehow. A whole pack of oven chips. This boy can eat, you can eat, can't you, sweetheart? You really can. Vodka pasta. Vodka pasta, which you've got on your chin. And Kenny thinks it's like Manchester's answer to the carbo in vodka pasta. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday morning. I woke up to snow this morning. Could you believe that? So I've actually just had a really slow, relaxing, peaceful start to the morning. I've had my avocado on toast and I finished watching the holiday and it was snowing outside and it's really dark and the Christmas tree is on and it was just a blissful, morning i cannot explain to you how much of a whole different person i feel today on friday than i did on monday or especially versus how i was feeling last week i know i kind of said this right at the start of the video but honestly last week i had just let myself get into like a really down unproductive unmotivated like quite negative which is unlike me kind of place it honestly fascinates me and i know everyone says this but you have to kind of prove it to yourself that just by going to the gym a couple of times by eating more home cooked wholesome meals by not spending too much time on your phone by spending more time outdoors by making time for your favorite hobbies like reading for me now that i'm saying it out loud it sounds so obvious but it does just make the biggest biggest difference you really don't have to make any huge huge changes i think it's about changing your outlook and how you see the world how you see the day in front of you i always say this but it really is about finding like happiness and being grateful for like the small things in life literally just your cup of tea in the morning or watching a movie on the sofa with your dog or just going outside and noticing like a really beautiful day they are truly the things that create a happy life so if you haven't been feeling like yourself or your best self recently i promise just try some of those little things um, and it does make a huge, huge world of a difference. Anyway, I was gonna film today just to finish off the week, but I actually think this video is already super long. And also today for me, it's all about just relaxing and switching off. I'm gonna watch some Christmas movies and try and really get into like the festive spirit because it is now Christmas in a couple of weeks. And on that note, um, next Sunday is my birthday and then the Sunday after that is Christmas. So I am definitely going to take some time off. I'm not exactly sure how much time yet. Like this might be my last video until the new year or there might be another one, I'm not too sure, but I just wanted to tell you guys that I am planning to take some time off. So if I'm not here next Sunday, then you know where I am. So I will obviously still be posting over on Instagram. So I'll pop my handle here um, and that's what all my birthday celebrations and stuff will be. So yeah. So just in case I don't see you before, I love you guys so, so much. I hope you have the best Christmas in the entire world. And I'm so excited to go into the new year with you um, and just get off to an amazing start. So I'll see you very soon. Bye guys. Thank you.